Hello guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. We are back from Sydney. You would have seen our last vlog. We split it up into two because it was massive. It was a lot last week. Um, we got back from Sydney last night, which is Monday night. Today is Tuesday. Um, today we've been doing a lot of um, event, event stuff. What am I trying to say? Today we've been doing a lot of just work stuff. A lot of emails. I did two blog posts. One, which is already on live, um, is a workwear edit. It's a couple of pieces we think are really um, great for work if you are in a corporate life or do they have a nine to five kind of hustle. So I will link that below. And I'm halfway through doing another blog post um, of our question and answers with Jen Atkins. Um, so it's really exciting. I'll also link that below as well. Uh, tonight we're going to a Manic Cartel event. They've launched a new store in High Street Armadale and they've collaborated with Liz Sunshine from Street Smith and she's sharing um, some of her pieces on the walls, her photography pieces, um, as well as yeah, the, new collection, the new collection and store launch. So I'm wearing Manning Cartel, this beautiful green. It's actually a dress, but I kind of want back to front with, as like a shirt with jeans and heels. And Beck's wearing this really, really cool trench coat. It's like a denim-ish trench coat um, with just jeans and a tee. So um, I'll, I don't think we'll show you before we leave because we're kind of running a bit late. Um, but I will, when we get there, we'll show you our outfits and take you with us for the night. So we'll see you soon. It's Wednesday morning. We are off to shoot with Katie. So in the city, we've got about three outfits to do. Two duo outfits and one solo each to do. We've got an event. We have to shoot some stuff instead. Last minute yeah. stuff. Um, so we're doing that and then we've got PT afterwards and that's about it. It's really quite a chill day. We've kind of like, yeah, just moved around the events and not gone to them to do work. Um, but yeah. Just Last night was really fun though. The store yeah. was beautiful. Oh, the store was beautiful. They um, had a top level, which was like a going to be a different kind of um, space. It's going to be either like a styling space or um, a showroom space or capture collection space. It's got a multi-purpose space, but it's all like white floors. But all the PO features painted really white with industrial like beams and stuff. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was really good. Enjoyed ourselves. Um, it's good. It was good. Uh, a good store. I really like it. So hopefully we get to go in there again soon. Um, it's really pretty. Everyone's driving really annoying today. Oh, so many people driving like spaz. Any hoozy. That's all. Nothing else to really update you on. But they have coffee with Katie as well, which is really nice. This person, this bus is was meant to be merging. I don't know where they're going. But yeah, we'll touch. We'll touch base. <laughs> It's Thursday morning. Thursday morning, that's correct. We, it's about 11 o'clock now, just before 11. We have already been out had a meeting this morning. Um, uh, one of our, um, I guess, peers, you could say, Anna, she used to be at the PR um, 
coordinator at Age, the fashion Australian fashion label, but she has started her own PR label. So we caught up with her and just chatted about um, what she's doing. It's really exciting. So if we see, I would love to see if we could um, collaborate somehow and um, get her to some PR for our digital clients and we can do some social media for her clients, vice versa. So that would be really, really good. Um, we're just doing some work today. One of our new digital clients are doing a branding um, guideline for them. So it's hard to be dark in this room, I can light on. Um, we're doing a branding guideline for them. That's better. Um, so today we're just doing that. It's also my boyfriend's birthday today, so I'm going for dinner with him to a place called California Burger. Um, they have like California style burgers. Um, so, but we went to the, uh, the chemist after um, we had coffee. Um, our meeting this morning got some like some supplements that I thought I'd show you because it might help you guys as well. Like, uh, my PT told us to get some fish oil tablets. I've never taken fish oil before and we have a lot of, not a lot of joint issues, but it's super bright here. Um, we just get like, we have sore wrists and sore joints. Um, I tore my um, cruciate ligament a couple years ago. It's fine now, but um, Bex hurt her wrist before, so have I. So we've just got like, you know, joint complaints. And our PT Hannah takes fish oil five capsules a day. A couple in the morning and a couple in the evening. And she's like, cause she um, apparently meant to take one and that helps for just general boosting your fish oil um, like five, omega-3 levels um, but it may take five if you are uh, like have osteoporosis or if you have um, arthritis or joint issues so I might start taking like a couple not five it's a bit dramatic I think I might start taking like, like two or three maybe two and I'm trying to read what it says because the directions say take one soft capsule daily for general health for memory and brain health, take two soft capsules daily. For health, mood, healthy mood balance, take three. For heart, cardiovascular, and joint health, health, take four. So there you go. It actually is a thing. I'm gonna take four. So I don't know if this is a good brand. I just grabbed the first one I saw. That wasn't like Nature's Way because Nature's Way is like ones on TV, and I feel like they're just marketed really nicely. So I got the Biogland Odorless Superfish Oil, 2,000, twice as much omega three. So I got that. We also got this Nutra Life Gut Relief. It's like a, a, probi a prebiotic powder. It's, got with, it's with slippery elm, glutamine, and prebiotic. Supports healthy di digestive function and relieves indigestion. So we have gut issues, just with our allergies, our food intolerances, and because of our industry and our job, sometimes we just don't know what we're eating, consuming. We, get, we have, always have gut issues. It's always an issue. Struggling to go to the bathroom. Have to, and I, we need to take extra um, fiber because a lot of the fiber has wheat in it and we kind of gluten and wheat. So it's a recurring issue for us. So I grabbed this. Um, it's meant to just maintain healthy digestive function and support the liver. Um, and it's a prebiotic. So it's a powder. I'm going to put it in with water in the morning. Um, and then alongside that, we got some more probiotics. We take two pro probiotics each day in the morning. And we use, these are very expensive, the, the Bioceuticals Ultra Bionic 45 Probiotic. Um, they're expensive, like this is $100. And we churn through them. But um, I spoke to my doctor and she's like, Inner Health Plus is not going to do anything for you girls because you've got gut issues. You need something really strong. So we got two of those. And we also got by Bioceuticals, by Bioceuticals as well. Um, it's a glutenzyme. It's a plant-derived enzyme that actually helps break down the gluten if you eat it. So you meant to take it after gluten-containing meals. So we're going to try that as well, see if that helps us. Um, just because, yeah, gluten really does affect us um, in a lot of different ways. And when, I have, when I've got bad gut health, especially because uh, I was quite sick over the past month, um, I had like a couple of infections, so I got antibiotics, and it just really just ruined my gut health. So because obviously there was no probiotics in my tummy left, it was only like antibiotics killed everything. I noticed I get um, like psoriasis on my scalp. Hi. Are you not going to show me? You, know, you are embarrassed. I'm just talking. Look. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I get psoriasis on my scalp and breakouts. My sc I do much work. Beth is my hair for me. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. I'm taking anything yet. Um, yeah, I get psoriasis because I was so with um, gut health. If your gut's back not healthy, you're not I guess excreting those toxins that you're putting in your body by your allergies the normal way, which is going to the bathroom, um, which Beck and I struggle with because we can't have um, fiber. Um, if you're not doing that often yeah, enough, fiber, which, 
a lot of fire based derived from fructose based no wheat and, and fructose yeah, like, um, a lot of fruit, fruits, dry fruits, yeah. So um, because we don't have enough fiber in our diet based on our allergies, um, we can't go to the bathroom as often as we'd like to. Therefore, the toxins have to excrete another way, and it usually is the largest organ in your body, which is your skin. So we have a lot of break. I get, I get more breakouts than Beck does, and Beck gets more scalp-related issues like psoriasis. So I notice when my gut health is really, really poor that my scalp starts to get psoriasis. And the past week, it's been really but not that bad, but it's been worse than it's been for like a past year. So I'm like, Ugh. so pumping prebiotics and probiotics so in my gut kind of better. This is four. No, it says we don't need heart, cardiovascular and joint health. Joint yeah. health, joint health. Okay, four, four two. Anyway, Bex is going through what I was saying before. So we've got those um, supplements and tablets. Obviously we won't take them all long ago because your body can't absorb them enough. So we'll try and take some in the morning, some in the evening and hopefully that will make us feel better, yeah. um, the pre-bonic one. Um, and we also, I have be, uh, two teaspoons of Benefiber, but big teaspoons of Benefiber but in my coffee Benefiber every single morning. Benefiber. Um, just because if I don't, I won't go, go, go to the bathroom for at least like four days. It's really bad. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to have this and Benefiber. I think this is similar to a Benefiber. It's not. Anyway, um, it's really awkward me talking to Beck as well as vlogging. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. I look like poo. That's okay. Um, it's Friday morning. We are just doing some work this morning. It's about 10 o'clock. Oh, it's quarter past 10. Um, I had a lion this morning. I had the first, not sleep, I was awake. Um, but I, hang on. I was awake. I was like 8 o'clock or 8.30, but I stayed in bed till 10. Well, just, just before 10, which is the first time I've done that for about 10 to 12 days, almost two weeks, I reckon, since... Great Easter, I think. Um, so it's so nice. Oh my god, it was so good. Even though I was awake, it was just nice just to like lie in bed and not have to get up and go anywhere. I think we did the same. No, it was just really nice. Like, because we've been traveling a lot, had a lot of. Why is this like light? There's like light right on my neck. Um, this looks weird. There we go. Um, because we've had a lot of early morning meetings and we went to Sydney and just like going to airports and stuff. It's been really hard to kind of like just rest. Um, we've had a really full on last two weeks, so, but it's been amazing, like, it's been great, like, not complaining at all, just been really tiring, because I like, um, just having my own downtime as well, and I haven't really had a chance to do that. Um, so it was nice to kind of, like, lie in bed this morning, just for an extra 40 minutes or so, um, feel really good, had a really great seat, sleep. We've been using, um, this, we got a Mario Badascu, um, like a, not lavender spray, but it was like a spray, um, for your face. I've been using it. I'll show you. So we've been using, I know I have been using this, and Marissa has been too, the Maribodasco Skin Care. It's the facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Um, I've been using it on my pillow, so my slip pillowcase. I've been spraying that every night and spritzing my face with it, and it's just really helping to relax me and calm my muscles and calm me and just put me in a really nice mental state to go to sleep. I feel really relaxed and sleepy and I start yawning almost immediately, which is really good because I struggle to fall asleep. Um, I find my mind's racing for hours. Um, so this has really been helping. And Miss has been helping you as well. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. We had one. I had... We had this Elemis one that we got from Crown? No, we said... Yeah, we're in Dallas. We've got this Elvis one, which is amazing. Uh, it's quite mind pillow spray. Um, that was so good. But we ran out of that because we thrashed it. Um, we got this in um, our uh, Mecca bag from the Mecca, Mecca from Mecca Land. Oh my gosh, I was so excited, and it's so amazing. Just really, really relaxing, and it just helps me get to sleep because, I, yeah, like I said, I struggle falling asleep. But yeah, so um, I haven't made, made my bed yet because. I want to get back into it. Um, but yeah, so today we just got PT in about 45 minutes with Hannah. We'll probably be doing boxing and legs. Um, I might want to bring the vlogging camera to show. Maybe. Um, so it's going to be tough. But, and then we've got a free day today, which is really good. So we're doing a lot of work. We just signed um, one new digital client so far and potentially two new others. Um, which is really exciting, awesome, but just kind of like, uh, because it's a lot of um, sort of 
laborious work for us on a computer for hours a day. So um, just got to do some planning for that and that kind of stuff, which is good. But we reorganized our office because we wanted to kind of make it more harmonious to how Marissa and I like to work. Um, because how we had it originally was like the desks along, um, you would have seen desks along the wall. And the other side was like our racks and shelves and stuff. Um, but it wasn't, I guess, collaborative. And Marissa and how Marissa and I like to work is very collaborative in terms of us talking to each other directly. So we moved our office around a little bit. It's not as um, open, but it definitely feels better for our working habits and how we like to work. So I'll show you. Okay, excuse the mess on our desks already and ever already. But we didn't clean it yet. We just literally like flipped office the whole thing over. So we've got our roller rack and our shelf here. We want to try and figure out some better storage so everything looks cleaner. I think we're going to get rid of all the stuff at the top um, and just be smarter with how we store things. Um, so it just looks prettier, looks more clean. We're getting, um, for this corner, we're going to get these, excuse me, these Ikea sort of, they're, not, they're shelves, but they've got cupboard doors, so they're all closed off. We might just get one for here. It's taller, it goes to about here. Um, and that way all that junk can go in there and be stored away, along with all the other, like, stuff near return, like the post box bags and stuff. And this way, this should be like a full visual shelf, really pretty and clean. Um, and that can be kind of closed off. Anyway, we want to repaint in here because it's just a bit grubby now. The walls have been painted for like five years and just everything's been moved around so much that there's like marks on the walls and stuff. So we want to either wash the walls or repaint it. I want to repaint. Yeah. Could do it ourselves. <laughs> in theory. We could. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this is our desk situation. So we're across from each other because it's like how we like to work. So we're just like, hey miss, blah, blah, blah. And we just, it's more collaborative for us. It's easier. We can just sit there and talk hey, to one another. Get that email. Yeah. And it's just a lot more collaborative. Whereas before we were along that wall and just, we found ourselves straining and being like, hi Marissa, rather than just being like, hello. hello. So, um, yeah, it's good. I want to get a proper office chair as well. Like a wheelie one because... This little like shitty one is crap, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so really happy with this space. Um, yeah, are you happy with myself? Yes. Oh, I, I went to lay my uh, elbow on the desk and I was like, boom. <laughs> um, but we're actually going to get ready to go PT. I actually put my sh my sneakers on, my sneakers on. <laughs> I just put my sneakers on. <laughs> did, you put my, did you put makeup on? Just uh, tinted. Oh, cool. When we get back home, I'll have a shower and try the new... Mar um, the new <laughs> Oh, uh, I went to well. Oh, we're at home. We're going to try the new Marc Jacobs Foundation, which we haven't shown you. We got a delivery yesterday. Yesterday? Well, I can think you're saying sneakers. Ah, uh, <laughs> sneakers. Ah, uh, Sounds like a, a Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> um, we got a new delivery yesterday from um, Marc Jacobs, which is really exciting. So I, really wanted, I wanted to try this foundation. I saw it everywhere. And the actual message behind it is really beautiful. So I'll show you the packaging. Um, so you open it up. I'll bring it here so it's easier to see. Um, it says introducing shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation SPF 25 hashtag so shameless. Um, and we've got a little color book here, but it's really beautiful. Like the actual message behind it. I'll read a little snippet, which I put on Instagram stories yesterday. So it's the bottom paragraph. The idea of shameless and showing your true color is being who you are unapologetic and proud. One of the most important characteristics in terms of, of a contemporary youthful look is not that heavy sort of makeup, but something that is fresh and breathes and allows radiance and the texture of the skin to come through. I love this because particularly talking about being unapologetic, unapologetic and proud, that's who we are. We're so unapologetic about who we are, our faith, our passion. And I feel like this, just as a fan, like the, the message behind it really like, talks to Marissa and I. So I'm really excited to try it. They have all the color tones. Um, unfortunately, they don't, I don't know if they had, they had the color that we requested. Um, so they sent us three, so you can kind of like mix and match. So we got um, light Y207, um, which is more of like a, it's a little bit more yellow. This one here is the same tone, but pink. So it's medium R300, but it's more of a pink base, I think. Ooh. It's more of a pink base when looking at it and comparing it to that one because that's really yellow. The colors aren't coming up very well here. And this one here is a darker shade. It's probably like our fake tan shade. It's medium Y320. So is that just... Yeah, so we're going to give them a shot. I feel like if I fake tan, the, the light's not coming out properly. If I fake tan, a little better. That one's probably better for me. Um, yeah, someone said on Instagram stories, oh, look really light for your face. It's just the photo like and the, and the camera. Flash, yeah. 
yeah, let me just turn it probably a true reflection of the colors. I feel like that one mixed with a bit of this one would be perfect for us for every day. And then this one on its own is good for like fake tan. And we got a little makeup brush. I've never used a foundation brush like this before. The seamless. I don't know, I'm not a big foundation brush kind of person, but because I never, I feel like some foundations don't go on well with brushes. Yeah, it's just depended. But I'm excited to try this one on. Try this one on. Try this one. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, I'm going to try these when we have come home from PT and I have a shower because I'm excited. And we've, someone asked us to give a review. And you know what? I don't really know how to give a review about foundation, but I can talk about the consistency, the sheerness, the texture, the longevity. That's basically in the review, isn't it? Yeah. Anywho. See ya. Hey guys, so it's Friday evening now. It's about 6 p.m. I'm getting ready to go out with my friend Anna. She's her farewell party. She's moving back to New Zealand for a couple of months. Um, so I thought I'd update you quickly because a few of you have asked. We got a delivery from Marc Jacobs this week. The Shameless Foundation. And a few of you have asked on our Instagram page um, just to give a bit of a review on it. So I thought I'd let you know how it's going so far. So we've got three shades. we got um, Medium R3. Just, I think it's slightly more neutral base to be honest. And um, we got Light Y270, which is a color that's currently on my face. And then we also got um, Y320. So I'm assuming Y is yellow base, which is our skin tone. I'm assuming red. Maybe it's red base, but um, I think you thought it'd say pink base. But anyway, so um, I'm not sure actually the mirror quality is better. So excuse the bag under my eyes, I'm tired. Um, so yeah, but besides I've got a massive pimple here, um, it's actually covered really nicely. So a little bit of info about the foundation. It's meant to be a full coverage foundation. It says long wear full coverage foundation, but it's meant to have a youthful look. So not a full, full coverage. I would say in my opinion of trying out makeup, as many foundations as, as I've tried out, I'd say it's a medium, full of medium coverage. It's definitely not full coverage. I would compare it probably to the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, if not maybe a little bit fuller coverage than that. Definitely not Estee Lauder Double Wear kind of full coverage, but maybe if you added a couple more layers, it might be able to be built up to a full coverage. But I don't mind it. I think it's really nice. Um, it feels really nice on my skin. It doesn't feel dry. It feels quite lightweight in terms of moisturizing as well which is really nice um i'll flip it back over yeah so that's the other in my bathroom no lighting that's how it looks on my skin so it's massive pimple here which is so sore i got it today i get a few of these ones like right on my cheekbone on this side where i sleep now and again but excuse that but apart from everything else i think the coverage is really nice the color is actually perfect for my skin tone at the moment so i'm like yes but the darker color, the Y320, I think it'll be really good for going overseas. Um, or for one, my fake tan. So I really like it so far. I'll keep you updated. Um, I'll let you know how it wore um, tomorrow morning. When I get back tonight, I'll see how it wore and I'll let you know. But yeah, I really like it. So there you go. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. Um, wanted to update you on the Mark Jacobs Foundation last night. I'm undecided. I didn't know if I loved it. it it broke up a lot around my nose, but I think it's because of my glasses and I wasn't wearing like a nose primer that I usually use. I usually use the MAC Paint Pot um, Eyelid Primer on my nose because on my glasses, the foundation kind of slips and slides. Um, <clears throat> it ended up being more like a powdery finish. Um, I feel like it was very similar to my Tarte um, foundation stick. Quite similar to that. It felt like kind of powdery looking. It didn't look like dewy or it didn't look matte, but kind of powdery-ish looking. Um, so I didn't mind the finish of it. Um, it did last, definitely. Besides my nose, it lasted everywhere else. I had, yeah, I had a few breakouts through here and it covered them perfectly well. I mean, I was only out for a couple of hours. I put the makeup on at what, like six and it got back at 10. But still, it's still four hours, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, four hours. I had to count that Saturday morning. Um, it was only like four hours, but it still lasted pretty well besides my nose. I'd probably try to use it again with a different primer maybe, um, as I said around my nose and hopefully it would last better. But I might try it out again tonight because I'm going out tonight with my friend Robin's birthday, We're going out at like 6ish for dinner I think and then so I probably won't be back till like midnight, maybe a little bit after, hopefully not too late. But um, So I'll try it out again tonight and see if it performs a little bit better. But I thought I'd update you. Today we're going, sorry if you're thinking renovations, 
and smashing and drilling. Um, my parents are fixing their ensuite. Um, so today's like demolition day and just demolishing it. Um, we're going to Pilates now in the next half an hour or so. Um, we did PT yesterday, like all legs. And my legs are not like terribly sore, but they are definitely stiff. Um, so we're doing Pilates today. Don't know if it'll make it better or worse. Probably worse to be honest, but at least it'll stretch me out as well. So um, that's it for today. If there's anything, other, anything else we'll update you on, I'm sure Beck will, or I will later on today. But see ya. Hey guys, just um, been editing this vlog for this current week and forgot to sign off as per usual again. So I'm so sorry about that. But um, yeah, I hope you liked this weekly vlog. Sorry, a little bit shorter, a little bit more um, at homey than usual. We don't really have many things to go to, but I um, hope you liked it anyway. Um, let us know your thoughts below and give us some love and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week.